Good morning year two. It's Wednesday today which means we're halfway through the week. We are carrying on with division today and today we are making equal groups by grouping. So just as a recap, just like yesterday, what does equal mean? I'm not going to write it down today. Your challenge is to let me and Miss Smith know by email what equal means, okay? So your anchor. Some children are throwing bean bags around. In their game, each player needs two bean bags each. How many bean how many players, sorry, can play with eight bean bags? So here are the eight bean bags, and what we will need to do is group them. See if you can think how many would need to be in each group. The important information is here. So each player needs two bean bags. So what we would do is one group here, one group here, another group here, and another group here. So, how many players can play? Well, the answer would be the amount of groups we've got, because if each player needs two, each group is represents a player. So there is one, two, three, four. So four, four players can play the game with eight bags. Okay. I want you to pause the video and have a go at this one yourself, okay? For the next game, each player needs four bean bags each. How many players can play now? So draw them out or get things to represent the bean bags and group them for me, okay? And then come back and see if you get the same answer as me. So I need to group them into gr groups of four. So one, two, three, four. That's my first group. So I'm going to group all of those just like that. And then my next group, one, two, three, four. I now need to group these just like that there we go so there are two players can play with eight bags oh dear bags because there are two groups okay the cards are face down and everybody needs four cards how many groups has she made how many cards are in each group and how many cards are there all together? See if you can answer those questions and then come back. OK, so how many groups has she made? Well, they're all equal, so we know they're equal groups. And she's got one pile, two piles, three piles. So she has got three groups. How many cards are in each group? Now I'm going to check every group because I'm not sure if he's counted correctly. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There are four cards in each group. How many cards are there all together? So there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we need to be able to write a division sum. Now we know in division that the bigger number will always come first. So 12 is how many we are starting with. It's all the cards together. If they're all in one big pile, there would be a pile of 12. How many are we sharing with? Well, there are three groups. So that is this next number. And then the answer is how many is in each group? So four. So this number here is the total. So the total amount, I should say, sorry. This number here is how many groups? And then this number here is how many 
in each group. OK, that should help you understand the division sum. Jack has been potato printing. Circle two circle groups of two prints. How many groups have you circled? I want you to have a go at this whole thing and writing the division sum by yourself and then come back. So each group needs to have two prints. So there's two there. There's two there. There's two here. Another two here. And then the last two. I'm not very good at drawing circles on my laptop. So, how many groups have you circled? So now you need to count your groups. One, two, three, four, five. So you have circled five. Now, this number is how many there are all together to start with. So because I've grouped them in twos, I'm going to use my twos to count. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. So all together there are 10 prints and I've divided it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups and in each group there are 2 prints. Well done if you got that correct. Alex is doing some jumping. She has got to 15 with how many equal jumps of how many? So the first thing I want us to do is count this number line. So it's 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And we need to work out what the jumps are in. What times table is on Alex's number line? We know it is the 5 times table. OK, so Alex's number line is the 5 times table. How many jumps has it taken her? So let's count her jumps. We've got one, two, three. So she has got to 15 with three equal jumps of, and how many is in each jump? We know it's the five times table. So it's equal jumps of five. So we know that the total number is 15. So it's going to be 15 divided by the 3 because that's how many jumps she's done. Oh dear, equals 5. Just like that. Okay, more jumping. How many jumps of 10 would she need to get to 40? So let's do the jumps. So you start at zero and we stop at 40, okay? So one, two, three, four. So she has got to 40 with four equal jumps. Work out the number line scale, it is 10, 20, 30, 40. I know that is my 10 times table. So it equal jumps of 10, which means it would be 40 divided by four equals 10. OK, bronze, your questions. You need to sort the cubes into the groups that it tells you and tell me how many groups there are. Then you need to do the same with the fruit and complete the sentence. You need to use the bead string to help you fill in the calculation. So use your pictorial knowledge and count the beads for the jumps. And then there's a couple of questions here about fruit and how many each group needs. And you need to be able to group them to tell me how many groups can have the fruit. Silver, you are doing questions one, two and three. Again, Annie's got some apples. She wants to put two apples on each plate. How many show how Annie groups the apples and complete the sentences. 
you've got 15 counters and you need to group them into threes and then you need to group the chairs into five and complete the number sentence. Gold, you are doing questions four, five and six. You've got some number line work and some filling in the gaps. And then two questions here. One is about either putting pencils into pots. You need to write the division. And then you need to tell me whether Ron is correct. You don't have to use counters. You can use anything. Like I said yesterday, Lego is a really good thing to use to help with sharing. And platinum. Again, these are tricky. So which of these numbers can be put into five equal groups and six equal groups? What do they have in common? So you need to tell me what they have in common. You need to sort the jewels. OK, and then answer the two questions and then tell me which of the children are correct. But the important part is to explain why. OK, that was your maths lesson and I will be back tomorrow with another one. Have a lovely day.